Hey folks, Matt from writeroftheimage.com. We've got an interesting question here from Taylor on the email. Taylor writes in, he says, Hi, I've spent the last few days com- combing the entire internet for which camera to get. I'm really wanting a viewfinder that flips or swivels, so that's why I'm stuck between these two. Now, when you say a viewfinder, I think you're talking about the LCD there because um, the G7 you're referencing and the Sony A51 that you're referencing um, don't have a flippable viewfinder. They have a flippable LCD. A blurry background when taking pictures is something I really want as well, so the aperture is a big factor. I would be using the camera for mostly pictures, not video. Help, please, Taylor. So actually, the, I should have I should have said at the beginning, the, the title of this email, the heading was, Help, Sony A5100 or Panasonic Lumix G7. So as you will know, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, I love the Panasonic G7. Shot it for quite a while. I'm now shooting with its successor, the G85. And for video, it's a fantastic camera. It's also a very good camera for photography. The A5100 never really appealed to me because it doesn't have that fully articulated screen. And it also had some lost some other features that, say, the 6000 or the 6300 didn't have. So it was never really one of my contenders. In the sense that you then say that you mostly want pictures, not video, I'm wondering if either of these cameras is what you should be looking at. If I mostly wanted to shoot pictures and not video, I would shoot um, the X-T20 from Fuji. Probably choose the 18-55, to 28-4 kit zoom, which is beautiful zoom. I love this 50-F2 to uh, F2 prime lens that's with it, and maybe look at a long zoom to go with it. Um, as far as blurry background, that F2, that 50 F2 is going to help you out a lot. The 18 to 55, 28 to 4 is pretty decent too for that. Um, other options, you could look at a Canon 80D, especially if you get one on sale right now or used or refurb. You should be able to get one in your price range here. And you get more megapixels, 24 megapixels, good Really decent performing sensor. Really good video too, just not 4K. But you got that beautiful Canon dual pixel AF. You could throw in a 50mm F1.8 STM Prime and get those blurry out of focus backgrounds that you're looking for. Lots of other lenses in the Canon lineup to choose from. What about a Nikon? Nikon D7100 would be a good price point if you're looking to come in at a lower price point. You can get those refurbed or used for quite a good deal. It gives you everything that the 7200 has with the exception of a uh, smaller buffer for continuous shooting, but it doesn't sound like that's something you're really needing. Then you can add the same thing. You can add fast primes. You could add a fast Sigma F2.8 zoom, the 17-50 to F2.8. You can add a 50 F1.8 Nikon. The G is a beautiful lens. Uh, With the 7100, you could shoot the older F1.8D or even an F1.4D. These are options I think I would look at, if you're mostly into pictures, not video, before I would look at the G7 or the A5100. Because if you're mostly into pictures and not, and not video, then you're going to want a better performing camera, better resolution, uh, access to more lenses and things. Don't get me wrong, I love the G7 and I love the G85. Um, but for me, the love comes because they're a beautiful hybrid straddling of photo and video. If I was just into, into photo, I would go with one of these other options, the ADD, the X-T20, the um, Nikon D7100, D7200, uh, or I would even look at um, the A6000, for instance, is a better camera, in my opinion, than the A5100 for just photos. I don't like the Sony lens lineup, so I would tend to shy away that way. But that's what I would do if I was you. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Because he's mostly wanting to do photos and pictures that he should look at one of the Fujis, the Nikon, the Canon 80D. What do you think? Which way would you go and why? Or would you indeed go with one of the options he's looking at, the A51 or the G7? If I was choosing between the A51 and the G7, I would probably go with the G7. I'm probably biased there because I like the lens lineup from Panasonic better. And um, even though the A5100 has a little bit more resolution and a bigger sensor, I still think the G7 does great photos. Let me know what you guys would do in the comments below. Which way would you go and why? Let's help out Taylor. Thanks for your question, Taylor. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.